Hello everyone and welcome back to part 6 on how to make an egg hatching system series. So in the past tutorial I've showed you guys how to make an egg that you can hatch and it will choose a pet depending on its rarity and you will be able to equip it from your inventory. Now this is good and all but we still have to fix a few things such as uh, saving the pets when the player rejoins and uh, maybe even making a quick best button and we'll do that in this tutorial or maybe not maybe we won't be able to do the unequip all button and the equip best button and the data saving on this tutorial but we'll try so before we start this tutorial i want to let you guys know that if you don't want to follow the entire tutorial series and want to have access to all of my tutorial files or you just want to support me you can go uh, my the link to my patreon will be in the description you can support me there for the ten dollar tier which will give you access to all of my tutorial files. With that being said, let's start. So, what we're gonna be starting with is saving the pets. So I'm going to add a separate script called data saving. And inside of that script, we're gonna start off by getting data store service. So data store service is equal to game, come on, get service, data store service and local data store is equal to uh data store service can get data store and we're going to give it a random key so i'm going to just rename it to key one after doing that we're gonna have a pillar added event so game dot players dot players dot player added con connect function that will take the player as an argument and a game dot players player removing on connect function and that again will take the player so when they are removing uh when they are actually leaving the game we will look through we have a table for pets and that will be equal to an empty table so for underscore comma pets in there's uh player dot pets can get children do if uh let's not do that so table dot insert and pets come up pet dot name and that should be it now we're gonna do data store on set async set async and that will take player dot user id comma or dot dot uh pets Come on, and that will take the pets. Now what we're gonna be doing is uh do a local pets and or local data and we're gonna do a p call function and data is equal to and data store service on get the get um uh not data store service we're gonna do data store and get uh async and that will take the player dot user id uh dot user id uh dot dot pets and that's it now we're gonna do if data is not equal to nil then and in here we're gonna set data to nil if data is not equal to nil, then for i comma v in pairs data do. If uh, actually let's do a local val is equal to instance dot new, and we're gonna create a string value, and we're gonna do val dot parent is equal to player dot pets, and after we do that, I, I mean before we do that, we're gonna do val dot name is equal to v, and that should be it. So now we're gonna have to add a game called bind to close event. And we're gonna just put away to two seconds. Now, if you go ahead and play the game, this should be working. Uh, let's clear this output and nothing happens because we don't own any pets. But if you go ahead and hatch some, we should see that we have a sun dog right now. And if we just go ahead and leave the game, we can go ahead and join it again 
And we should have a Sun Fox in our inventory. Now it says pets is not a valid member of player dot player dot Now this is because the pets folder isn't actually loaded yet. So we're gonna have to wait until it's it's loaded. So repeat uh or actually we will do a repeat wait point one until player on find first child pets. Now that should fix this. And I also forgot to make this a P call. And we're going to have to rejoin the game. That should be working, hopefully. So we don't have anything yet. But we have a sun cat right now. So we're going to go ahead and just leave the game. Rejoin the game. And we should have a sun cat right here. And as you can see, we do have one. Uh, I think I just dragged it inside of my leader stats folder. But that's not really a problem. So now you can see that when we go ahead and join the game, our pets should be saved inside of our pets folder. And there is a, one more problem, which is that it's not displaying here. Now, this is very simple to fix. And all we have to do is go back to our inventory client. And we're going to wait around 10 seconds to load the pets. Or let's do 5 seconds. And we're going to do repeat wait 0.1. Or let's just do this. Repeat wait 0.1 until, until a player. Do we have a variable for the player? Okay, we don't local plr uh, is equal to game dot players dot local player now we're gonna go all the way down and until plr on find first child and pets now we're gonna change this into a one second wait and we're gonna look through every single pet for i can come of in pairs plr dot pets on get children do all we have to do now is check if v or actually let's do keep wait point one until v so so we are waiting for it to be loaded and after doing that we will call the create template function so underscore g dot create uh, let's just copy this and for as an argument it will take v dot name so that is very simple uh i'm gonna just do something right now sorry about that uh v.name and now if you go ahead and play the game you should see that we have a saved pet and we can actually equip it which is really nice now that's very cool and all we have to do now is make an a unequip all button so let's just go ahead select our main frame make sure it's visible and we're gonna go on to our um let's just go on to our equip button duplicate it and put it inside of the main frame and i'm just going to center it right here I don't think that's centered, but I'm just going to call it center. I'm going to rename it to unequip all. And I'm going to position it right here and set the text to unequip all. And now I'm going to just go ahead and inside of our inventory client i'm going to do a i'm going to create a variable right here for our um unequip unequip all button so is equal to mainframe on way through or dot unequip all and then i'm just going to have an event right here so unequip all dot mouse button one click on connect function and we will 
add a remote event inside of replica storage remotes add a remote event and rename it to unequip all unequip all now we will just fire that remote event so remote or game dot replicated storage replicated store replicated storage dot remote call fire client or fire server sorry uh dot unequip all call fire server and as an argument it will take nothing after doing that we will loop through every single template so for i come be in pairs scrolling frame on get children do if v con uh is a text button then we will just do a uh we're gonna write v con find first child equipped dot value is equal to false and then we're gonna just set the currently selected template selected temp to false uh, i mean nil after doing that we will go back to our egg underscore server so go here and replicated storage dot remotes dot uh unequip all the on client on uh, server event con connect function player player we are just going to copy this uh, if statement right here then uh we're just going to copy this again paste it here and add a con clear all children now if you go ahead and play the game that should actually work so we can go ahead and equip this unequip all and it will unequip it basically and this is not buggy by the way so if i go ahead and unequip all and replay press unequip nothing will happen until i select it again because we set the selected template to nil okay so that works now i also want to make this a bit cleaner so i'm going to go back to my inventory client and set the equip button dot text is equal to equip and after doing that i'm just going to copy this paste it right here that should be working so now if we go ahead equip that press on equip all this should work and we can't equip something with no errors and we can also go ahead and re-equip it and that looks very clean now, uh, I think this is going to be the end of today's tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at making pet multipliers as well as making a, a equip best button. And I think this is it. So if you guys want to want anything else, you can tell me in the comments. And before I stop the video, I just want to... Um, Tell you guys to subscribe and like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Bye!